My people, my people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We don't come again no, with Obenge information. We'll be saying, eh, if you hear them, you go like her. And now, victory hot, and they bring them come to you. I beg you, go help us to share, help us to like, and help us to subscribe. I beg you. Attest with me that custom is an agent that is trying to stop food from going from Lagos to Southeast. On their way, they stop them, they seize the food, and they start doing to that food whatsoever they please. Remember the other day, some people were stampeded, they died because custom released food, rice, they seized from Igbo traders, and they started selling those food, 10,000 bag, I think a half bag of rice. Yes, that's how they're making their money. That rice they were sharing that day was written not for sale, but they were selling it 10,000 naira per bag. Now, somebody decried that what is going on? Why is it that custom would not allow food to go down to Southeast? Not that this food is going there for free, or they didn't buy it, but just because it is owned by the Igbos or is heading to Igbo land, that is the height of it. We've said it before, Nigeria does not belong to Igbo, Igbo does not belong to Nigeria. But they say, no, we are one. Fake. We are one. You know, lies. They say we are one. But then, the animosity and the wickedness against our people has got to the heights. Alright? Let me read what I have here, word to word. You understand what I'm talking about. The chairman and the chief executive officer of Juhel a leading Nigerian pharmaceutical company, Dr. Ifanyu Okoye, has decried the targeted clampdown on Southeast businesses by the Nigerian Custom Services. Okoye, who narrated the experience of a Southeast manufacturers with the customs on Monday at a panel section of the Southeast Business Round Table and flag off of Light Up Nigerian Project Southeast by the Vice President Senator Kasim Shetima in Enugu. Okoye, on behalf of the Southeast business community, appealed to the federal government to ensure that imported foods coming to Southeast from Lagos we are not subjected to undue clampdown by the Nigerian Customs Services for no ju justifiable reason other than that they are owned by an Igbo man. Your Excellency, sir, please use your good office to ensure that goods coming to Southeast we are not hijacked by Nigerian Customs for no just justifiable cause. You see, a few weeks ago, a truck I hired to convey important, imported uh, manufacturing equipment for my company was hijacked and seized for five days by Nigerian Customs Service officers. All the papers and receipts of the equipment were shown to them, yet it was seized for no reason. For us to retrieve the truck and equipment from them, I had to pay over 200,000 Naira because the product is meant for Southeast region, he lamented. All right, I just have to cut the reading there. You have already heard the point I made from here. Now I want to go straight to, you know, comments under this reading. Somebody said, not be today, this nonsense starts. He don't say somebody said that. Another person said, custom officials are armed robbers. Someone else said, the haters of South is never know that Almighty God is a God of justice and so will continue to make a way for South East and keep punishing groups and people working against South East directly or indirectly. You see, another person said, it was really disheartening the way and many, the vice president attended the gentleman's question with disdain. As if bribery is a rightful thing for the custom to collect. Some people are still fighting the civil war. 
You see, in the moment we are telling our people that Nigeria does not belong to you, they say we are going to the extreme, like we are extremists. No, we are not. It is simply saying the truth the way it is. Truth, you know, is always very bitter, very bitter pill. You understand? But you have to swallow it the way it is. So that at the end, truth will be very sweet in your mouth. But if you swallow lies that they coat with sweet things, oh, if it gets to your belly, it will be very bitter, like God. Mm. My dear, Nigeria is hater of evil, especially the Fulanese in power. They are the customs you are talking about. The Yorubas that denied your brother vote he won. They are the customs you are talking about. They will seize your hard-earned goods you brought with the money. They will seize it and then, you know, charge you again. Loom some money so that by the time you sell the goods in Southeast, the prices of these things will go exorbitantly high. You know, in a way to punish the promises of the Southeast. They do it. They do this thing we are talking about. And we are not relenting because we have to say the truth the way it is. Custom or no custom, these are criminals in uniform. They are in military, they are in police, they are in custom, they are in DSS, they are all wearing uniform, trained arm robbers. <laughs> yes, their uniform will not make us not to call them who they are because we are not afraid of uniform. Any group of people can go and get uniform and wear. That does not stop you from being who you are. So, it is unfortunate that governors from this southeast regions are paid agents, puppets. They are bootlickers of Fulani oligarchy. So they won't say anything concerning this news. No, they will not do as if they had it. But this cannot happen in Yoruba land. No, custom cannot seize any food that is going to Yoruba land, except it's drugs or contraband or whatever. Otherwise, no, Yoruba governors will not allow that. Yoruba traditional rulers will not allow that. You will hear their voices. They will speak and they will give ultimatum and it will be released accordingly. But if it happened in Igbo or for Igbos or against the Igbos, you will not hear anything from the rulers. Those that call themselves leaders of Southeast, you will not hear. Bam, they will not talk. So that they will not get at the nerves of the, the, their paymasters, those that are paying them against their own people. Hmm? Ndibo, when are you going to learn? Support Biafra agitation. This mess will stop. Because in Biafra is your hope. That is where you will thrive. That's where your business will do well. That is where you will have leaders that have you at heart. Yes, we must tell you that's the bitter pill. Swallow it, take it, and then later on, it will be very sweet in your belly. Thank you very much. God bless you.